into the Manchester Craft Market in the Mall of New Hampshire and you'll find all kinds of locally made wares, some you can wear to show your state pride. <laughs> made in New Hampshire. <laughs> made in New Hampshire. I love that one. <laughs> They are handmade gifts for the littlest granite staters, even moms to be. New Boston's Erica Viner is stringing jewelry for mom and baby, a line of teething necklaces called Be Organic. They are all uh, BPA free and non toxic and safe for your little ones. The business was born after the birth of her son. He squirmed while nursing, so she made necklaces for him to fidget with. And then it turned into, you know, something that he can chomp on while he's teething. She makes matching mommy and me sets and beech wood teethers. The New Hampshire wood teether is made by um, my country store. They're out of Rochester, New Hampshire. So they made that for me and um, it is all natural wood. Jess Moore's owner of the market, who brought all these creators under one roof, has items on the shelves too. Everyone tells me I make them cry on Christmas. She makes memorial ornaments using clothing of a lost loved one. They all get a personalized poem uh, made from clothes I used to wear, now a gift for you, so I'm always near. Love, whomever the shirt is from. So it's a nice little gift from beyond, I suppose. Other ornaments feature the old man we all lost. Artists of all kinds are represented here. Comic book lovers, maybe they want a New Hampshire comic for Christmas. That's what we're hoping. Tilton's Michael Mitchell and his wife Michelle create 603 themed comic books. She helps me out a lot with the writing and the research and I do the artwork. One tells the story of UFO sightings over Exeter. Bigfoot is our latest comic book. We actually worked with a cryptozoologist that lives in Nashua, and he was telling us about um, Bigfoot sightings that took place in the 1970s, and we were amazed uh, that there was even Bigfoot sightings in New Hampshire. His favorite, the comic about Portsmouth's albacore. And we got to interview several crewmen that are still living and with us, and they actually took us on a tour to round out our research. Shopping for a foodie? How about a treat that's making a difference? This is addictive. They're pretty addicting. <laughs> People are surprised by the cayenne. Chris Mix Candy is the creation of Concord's Chris Gately. Combining chocolate, toffee, and a cracker, he's whipping up unique flavor combos. The raspberry and the peppermint hazelnut are my winter special edition flavors. The dark cappuccino and the white chocolate maple vanilla are my fall and the butterscotch hazelnuts. They're available all year round. The candy is made in the kitchen of a Concord food pantry where Chris volunteers as a cook. I donate 25 cents of each of the sales back to them as a thank you. So, so far in about a year, I've given them about $1,500. Seeking a hot stocking stuffer? Two products found here are made in dairy at Creative Chef Kitchens. Smoke and tin roof hot sauces and Thistle's all natural zucchini salsa. Christine Thistle's business grew right out of her garden, which produced an overabundance of this veggie. And it became a way to preserve the zucchini in jars and put up on the shelf. One taste and her family was hooked. And now all the kids and everybody eat all the vegetables. <laughs> Small batches of simple ingredients, vegetables and spices, no salt or sugar. What do people say when they say zucchini salsa? They give me a strange look and then they try it and they're, wow, they love it. Most people, if you like salsa, you'll like this. Very good. Thank you. Yeah, different flavors. Her son was the taste tester for the hot version. She may be in a fiery food business, but Christine likes her salsa mild. We're kicking it up in the kitchen today, okay. here, right in Derry. All right, here we go. All right, cheers. cheers. <laughs> I'm going to my face off because I don't do what well, I well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> On the other side of the kitchen, they're bottling up a hot sauce that packs a punch. What's the name of this? Grow a pear. It's a pear-based hot sauce. <laughs> and it's phenomenal. It's kind of like um, like an Asian duck sauce. 
because it's got that sweetness, it's got the smokiness from smoked paprika, a little bit of cinnamon. It's just, it's phenomenal sauce. It's one of our best sellers. Phil and Melissa Pelletier are the owners of Smokin' Tin Roof. You said it started with this pepper. Yes, it started by growing ghost peppers in our garden, and we loved them so much, and we tried cooking them in the house. We actually had to leave the house the very first time that we cooked with the ghost peppers because they're so blazing hot. Now their ghost peppers are turned into a powder that they use in products like spiced pumpkin butter and bacon stout mustard. It's like a slow burn, and it's funny watching people sampling it at craft fairs and stuff. They taste it and they go, oh, this is really great, and then, oh, oh my God, the, the heat kind of gets you later on. So you get to enjoy all the flavors, and then you feel the heat. Oh, it's sweet. Mm -hmm. And then kind of some spices in it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then the heat. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! You got it on we camera. Got it on camera. <laughs> You know, as a small food producer, it's really difficult to get into a grocery store. You know, all these big national chains have all these steps you have to take to get in there. But by having it at the Manchester Craft Market, if people say, oh, where can I find your product? I say, go there. It's just wonderful to go through and, and see such beautiful things. So if you're looking for that perfect gift with a Granite State touch, the Manchester Craft Market hopes to be your one-stop shop. For children, everybody, to someone like me, 80 years old. <laughs>